Hi everyone, Sarah here with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, make sure to hit that subscription button and the notification bell. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update because I know everything's kind of getting a little crazy in the world. Um, we're getting a little bit stressed out over here um, because we were trying to stock up on at least enough hay for a few weeks. We've got about 10 bales left in our barn. So we are letting go some of our kids um, a week early, which they're, I mean, they're 11 weeks old, so it's not a huge deal, but we're hoping that we can get them to their new homes before maybe they shut down the roads. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think everybody's overreacting, but that's my opinion. So anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update on the kids and kind of what's going on with us. So we actually, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty dark up there. Uh, we're actually expecting... A foot or more of snow tonight believe it or not um, so we're kind of getting everything figured out there getting all the goats you know taken care of they got all their barns we filled up all their feeders so that way nobody runs out of food during the storm I'm being attacked <laughs> everybody's jumping on me hey guys hi hi so um, anyway <laughs> let me in guys um, so, <sighs> it's getting a little bit stressful, but we're, we're trying to work things out. Uh, we've got all our bills paid for next month, and so now we're just worried about the goat's feed. Um, we got the livestock guardian dog's food stocked up, and the cat food, and, uh, so anyway, we are kind of actually cutting back. I mentioned that in my previous video. I'm trying to cut down on the numbers that I have, so I have a little bit more time away from the farm and with the family. So, um, if anybody is interested, I've got seven adults for sale right now, and I think I still have a kid left available, a buckling. Uh, so, if anybody is interested, I am in Vernon, Arizona, and you can comment below or check out our farm page on Facebook at Fish or Price Ranch. Kiko Goats, <laughs> I'm being attacked still. Um, we have bucks and does available, some will be in milk, um, so definitely let me know. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update on Cherokee's kids. They're running around all over the place and uh, give you an update on the dogs. They're doing great. Um, so let me switch the camera around. All right, so here's Cherokee's kids. They're doing so good. We're working on trying to get them a little bit friendly. Hey, pretty guys. What are we doing, huh? They're really nice. We'll be selling this buckling eventually when he's older. But we're going to, I think, hold on to meringue for a little while. Ugh, get off of me, guys. Um, so, where did he go? Now I've lost him. Well, here's Captain. Captain's still doing very good with the kids. Um, he is still available. He's had his first kidding. And still needs a little bit of work there, but... He is doing very well. These are the kids that he watched be born. And uh, he's taking good care of them, keeping an eye on them. He's doing great with all the other goats in here. Zara. Hi, baby girl. Come here. Come here, Zara. Come here. <laughs> she's being silly this, this afternoon. But uh, she's doing really good so far with the goats. There she is. Um, we don't know yet if she's pregnant. Um, it's only been, what, a week and a half since she was bred. But we're going to keep an eye on her for any changes. Um, her puppies will be available when they're older. They'll be started with goats and chickens. And we're not going to paper this litter because she's not hip tested. But some of her previous puppies have been tested and passed. So I'm not too worried. She runs nice. She tracks straight. Um, but anyway, to just be fair, we're, we're not going to register any of the puppies. But if anybody's interested in those, as long as she takes, we'll have puppies born in May. And then we've got one goat that I have to take to the vet next week for his traveling health certificate. <laughs> hey, silly girl. Um, I'll tell you about her in a minute. But uh, he is going to go to Iowa and... Hey, will you come say hi a minute? Razzle, come on. Come say hi for a second. He's a big beast. Big beastie. This is his mama. Huh? Hey, Tipsy. 
Gypsy Fiddler. She's actually one that we're selling. She's a really nice doe. She raises great kids. Has twins every time. Uh, we're just trying to cut back on the numbers. You can see how many goats we have. And uh, also cut back on some of the genetics that we have a lot of. That way we can make room for the newer kids that we're going to be holding on to. So we did just retreat the goats. They had lice. Um, she has the worst of it. That's why all of her hair is missing. So I'm hoping, because this was our second treatment that we did, and we used the silence um, pour on. And so we're hoping that's going to take care of it. Everybody else looks really good. Their hair is all grown back. Um, I only had like three that still seem to have a little bit of issue. I still treated everybody, even though they weren't showing signs. Um, but she was definitely the worst as far as her hair disappearing. So she's, she's a little bald, but I think she'll do fine. Um, this is actually one of the bucklings that we still have available. He's a purebred. And he's really nice. How you doing, buddy? This is his mama. She was a first freshener. She was one of our homegrowns. So... Anyway, that's kind of what's going on with everybody. Um, like I said, get, get with us if you're interested in any Kikos um, or any livestock guardian dogs. We do have Captain up for sale. Um, and then we also decided, since we're going to have puppies in May with Zara, um, and I don't really care of... I'll probably offend some people. I don't really care of the Krakachin breeders. Not all of them. But quite a few have caused issues with me because I bred Zara. And I'm just not looking to get into that. I'm a, I'm a goat breeder, not a dog breeder. <laughs> I just needed some puppies to um, have for down the road when we do move and have more land. But since we're cutting back currently, I do need to cut back on my dogs. So we decided that we're going to sell Freya. Now Freya is a registered Krakachin. And she is amazing with her chickens she does great with the cats um even the goats but as she is left with younger goats i have only caught her chasing the goats twice and i'm not sure why but she is still young so i think it's just her age and she still wants to be friendly so she just needs a little bit more time and work before she'd be 24 7 with the goats so we put her back in the yard with the with the cats and the chickens. Um, maybe if anything, she might be better off with the bucks because they don't put up with it. That's usually how I train my dogs is put them with the bucks. And they keep, they, they make their own big bubble away from the dogs <laughs> or yeah, away from the dogs. So the dogs know, okay, don't go within six feet of this guy cause he'll headbutt me. <laughs> so it does kind of teach the dogs to keep a distance and only go around the goats when it's necessary. So if anybody is interested in livestock guardian dogs that have been started or goats, whether they be young or older, we definitely have a variety available. Like I said, we are in Vernon, Arizona. All right, so that's kind of what's going on with us. Um, I do want to try and get a couple more videos done this week. Um, with the snow coming, I kind of needed to wait until the storm clears because it's really windy out here. I was going to brush Brownie um, because she's shedding all that cashmere. But when it's really windy like this, it's hard to do without the hair flying away. So we're gonna wait. Um, and then also today in the mail, I got a surprise package. Um, so I will be doing a video on that. Probably, I'm gonna say Saturday because it's supposed to be really nice on Saturday. As long as it's not windy and crazy weather, I will definitely be getting it done. It involves Joe, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, all right, we'll see you guys next time.